Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cancel QBox. I know that sounds like a goofy thing to make a video about, but I saw something going around Facebook where somebody was upset that when they canceled QBox, they lost files on their computer. So I wanted to walk through how to cancel QBox without losing your files. So let's do this together. Uh, first, I'm going to log in. So curltree.tech.com slash QBox. Okay, so I've logged in. I just have an internal folder because I don't share any files with clients. Um, so when I expand this, it has all my files. We're not going to do that. Let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. Um, so we'll go to admin in the upper right, and then we'll go to the left hand side to close account. It, and this is really important. And this is when I stopped and I was like, I should just make a video just in case anyone else um, maybe breezes through this without reading it. So to close your account, you have to do the following. So step number one is you have to note down the location of your QBox folder. The path is displayed at the top of the QBox Explorer. You're going to need this for step four. So I've got QBox on the bottom of my screen. I can look at the path and I can see it goes users, me, documents, QBox, general frog, general frog, internal only. Okay, noted. <laughs> um, step number two, exit QBox. So click the uh, icon in the Windows taskbar, select exit. So I'm going to right click, close window. Um, that did not seem to do it. Let's click the X. Uh, if I click this X now. Okay, close window. Right click on the icon on the taskbar, select exit. There's no exit, there's only close window. Closed window doesn't seem to be doing the trick. Um, so let's see here. If I, oh, I can go to file exit cube box. So let's do that. Am I sure I want to exit? Yeah, I'm sure I want to exit. Then I need to uninstall cube box from the windows control panel. So let's go to our control panel. Uninstall a program, uh, uninstall a program. So it specifically says, um, cube box client by Qualtree. So here it is, QBox client by Qualtree. Uh, uninstall. Remove the application from the computer. Yes. Okay, so I'm no longer seeing it there. That's good. I would like the peace of mind, so I'm just going to check. Um, so if I go to my start menu, the application is no longer there. Number four, it says copy all the files and folders in your QBox folder to a different folder. You can also rename the QBox folder to keep using the same folder. Caution. If you do not uninstall QBox or rename the QBox folder, all the files will be deleted when your account is closed. This is exactly the situation that I saw on Facebook. Somebody was upset that their files got deleted off of their computer, off their C drive. And so I just want to demonstrate, I've already backed these up. So if I screw it up, who cares? But I want to demonstrate how we can avoid having that happen. All right, so let's go ahead and rename our folder. So we know that it was in C, we know it was in users, in me, uh, and then documents, and then QBox recovery, internal, I think. Since I've uninstalled and reinstalled um, QBox more than once, I'm not entirely sure which one I need. But let's go ahead and um, let's rename this. So old QBox files, and then I'll move it somewhere useful later. But for now, I'm going to put it on my desktop. So I've just copied it over to my desktop. So that's the QBox recovery folder. Now, if I go to my documents folder, I've got QBox, general frog, general frog internal only. Let's go old second old QBox files. I will check later and see which one has the most recent set of QBox files. I'm just copying them to my desktop to make super duper sure that if anything disappears, I still have a, a backup copy. 
in addition to the backup that I've already taken. Okay, so I feel reasonably comfortable with that. Um, so that's step number four. Uh, step number five, um, accounts of team members and shared users will also be closed when your account is closed. If you do not wish them to be closed, check this box. I've already talked to Megan and she's fine. Um, so we're just going to delete it from both of our computers. Folders on shared computers. When I do this, I will delete the QBox folder on the member computers. So that's fine. Um, so I'm going to type yes in the box. So the folders and the contents um, will not be deleted on the account holder's computer, but it will be deleted on the team member or the shared computers. The folder contains attachments, tax forms, blah, blah, uh, may not be recoverable. Totally fine. It's a video. If you want to read the whole thing in detail, you can pause and read it. I'm going to choose continue. What is the reason? Um, no longer collaborating with remote users. Um, I'm very satisfied with QBox. So my password, I copied it earlier from LastPass. Okay. It says your account will be closed within 48 hours. So later we can check and make sure that I didn't lose any folders off my computer. But even if I did, I backed them up before I started the video. And then I've also copied and pasted them over to my, my computer desktop. So for anybody watching this, I think QBox is great. Um, Megan and I just made a decision that we weren't going to collaborate with clients um, on QuickBooks desktop. And so we no longer need a way to share a QuickBooks desktop file uh, between ourselves and various clients. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I probably won't do a follow-up video for this because it would be really boring. It would just say, cool, my files are still here. Um, but I won't even know until 48 hours from now. And I'm recording this on a Friday, which means that I'll have to think about it on Monday. Probably not going to happen. If you're having any issues with your QuickBooks and you need help, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you need to outsource your bookkeeping, again, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see me do, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much.